Hey guys, welcome to the part 9 of Django ORM series. In this video, we are going to learn little advanced filtering technique that is Q filters. Okay, and how to use it with AND and OR filters and also negation. So let's get started. I have my code already checked out and I'm going to start by creating new endpoint. So before that, let me tell you what is the idea. So first we are going to learn how to use Q filter. Then we are going to see how to negate it. That means how to use it to exclude certain things. And then we are going to learn advance. Okay. So we'll start by creating our new endpoint and that will be called as Q filter. So def Q underscore filter self request. Uh, we are going to take in PK over here and args and then we have keyword args. Okay. Since it is a filter, let's add um, the decorator over here. That is action. And uh, since we are using PK in the URL, so we will have detail as true okay and then methods will be get only so query set will be equal to so the syntax is model name dot objects dot filter okay and in filter we are going to use q capital q okay and whatever filter we want to do say we want to filter it pk as pk okay so no, it will come inside queue okay and we have to of course import view sorry import queue so i'm going to go on top and start importing so it will come from from django dot models sorry it is from django dot db dot models import queue okay so this is where we import the queue from and then we are going to go down and since it is a query set, I'm going to like uh, re serialize it and return the data. So I'm going to find one old uh, serialized uh, code and I'm going to copy paste it over here. So again to go over quickly, uh, the syntax is model name dot objects dot filter and inside the filter this a uh, queue filter will come. Okay. So this is very basic whereby we are using just one pk is equal to pk. Uh, just for your learning, uh, just for your understanding purpose. And then we are going to go for advanced ones. Okay. And we can like run the server. We are going to go to post model and in extra action, we are going to see Q filter. Okay. We won't see because it is inside it. It has detail as true. So that's why it will come over here. Q filter. What did I just do? So let me change this to self.serializer class so that we get all the data okay and there we go so what it did is it took the id from here that is pk and then it filtered okay now that you have understood the basics of how q filter works uh, let's understand how we can use it to negate negate as in exclude certain data right so if you have seen the previous videos you must have seen that i have used dot exclude or if not previous then i might be making in one of the future videos so we use dot exclude to exclude certain things but in uh q filters right we can do it just like this put a uh, this tilt symbol in front of q and uh whatever the filter is so it will exclude uh all the data that has pk as this okay let's save this and try to run and there we go we get instead of one we are getting two and three that is all other data except for one so that is how we could use it to exclude uh, certain data by making use of q filter now say we want to get all the data whose pk is this or author is this right you understood the difference or we want to include or in Django that is not really possible by directly making use of filter but it is possible by making use of Q okay so I will show you all how to do that uh, let me copy paste this and I will make a comment over here or filtering or filter okay so now what we are going to do is remove this negation first of all and we are going to use or over here and then again we are going to put q and what is the filter uh, 
the model sorry field name it is author author will be equal to pk so take a note model name objects filter and inside filter just to like show you uh, clearly q either this q means like either this filter or this filter so that means either take the pk as this pk or author as this pk okay so it will return me with all the data that has pk as this or author is this okay so we'll save this and i think all data will come yes definitely because first of all in first one if you see author is also this okay so let's try to change data of this guy okay of this first one we'll change the author to someone else okay so that now we have one more user over here we'll go to post and for the first post we are going to change the author author where can i find him here to second author and now if i refresh i will still get this because over here the pk oh, sorry the id is one that matches with the, this id and for the second one id is two but its author is one so that's why it got me this data and let's change of third one also so that you all can clearly understand it and now if i refresh we'll get only two data because uh, first one has id as one and second one does not have id as one but it has author as one so that's why we got these two data so that is how or works in django now we will do is end okay so that was or and so over here instead of or right we will put and so it will get me all data whose pk is this as well and author is this same one so right now based on what uh, we have done we will get zero results and there we go because none of the post has same id and uh, same author so i'm going to change this to admin to show you all it works and there we go it works so this is how and works okay now i'm going to show you all negation cases i'm going to copy this one paste and uh, actually let's comment out all this then over here we are going to get all the post whose author is this and we, whose pk is not this right so we will filter based on all those pk which does not include uh, the past in pk that means the id is not one and but its author is one so we'll go back over here, refresh and we get only this one because its author is one but id is not one so that's why we got this result again to explain y'all what i have done is over here first we do is filter that q sorry pk is not this particular pk and author is this particular pk so that's why we get this data now i will go to like more complex query uh, just bear with me so this will be the most complicated and the final one that we are going to learn now and for that i am going to put this on Till now, what you all have seen is uh, just this much, right? Q and, sorry, Q and Q, Q or Q. But there's also concept of Q inside Q. Okay, this concept is also available, uh, present and we are going to make use of this one. So what we are going to do is, uh, we are going to use the old filter itself, whereby get me all those, not these P particular PK, but these authors should be same and over here along with this and q over here we are going to check in category so category underscore underscore id sorry underscore underscore in it should be and then list it should be equal to this particular pk okay so what i have done is first of all it this will get me some data right this will be one filter then along with that we are going to filter by using making use of this one where uh, say this returns me with this data okay and in this now it, it is going to check if category has this particular id that is one so that is how this filter is going to work save this and we'll go back to the browser and refresh and we get the same result that is correct just to explain you all again because i am definitely sure that you all must be confused so let me put it like this so first uh, it will evaluate the inside one that is uh, 
negation of pk get me all the uh, results which does not include this particular id that is one then uh, along with that it should have author as that uh, id one that is pk so this will be one data that will be returned and along with that we need this uh, we need the data whose category is only uh, one that is this pk so that is what data is returned from here i know this last concept of multiple queues was a little difficult to understand but if you watch this video at least twice and practice along with me you will definitely get it what i'm trying to say so i hope you have learned something new from this video make sure to subscribe to our channel like this video and share and see you in the next one